Greetings from the far off land of Inaba. I'm sorry, bring you another episode of Persona 4 Golden. tight bond between you and Marie. Yeah, although there's one person left, and... Till the next time. I was already there. I basically started this over there. mandatory fade out until I'm ready to restart. I mean, after all that, I wasn't able to finish every social link because I didn't think I would have time to. Unfortunately, I never did finish this. Oh well. It's under the rug now. Might as well stop by the food court for one last time, right? The usual food court. I'm just gonna skip most of the text here. Huh? What a coincidence! It must be destiny! No, we were meant to be here. Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yeah. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Yeah. Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> Seriously, guys, I still have this 2,000 from that hollow forest place. Or 20,000, sorry. Why can't I just pay for the whole thing? Will you shut up about your steaks? Ah, uh, whatever. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun in games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. Yeah. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. 
I wonder how it started then. It all started one rainy night. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? No. The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Yeah. Does that mean you're an exception? Maybe. Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? I have no idea. Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? I guess. What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? Uh, let's see. You're the only exception had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. The same goes for Dachi and Namatame. Hmm. Do you remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. It's not. The sender is listed as a Dachi. Huh? This is from jail? Yeah. It's from Adachi. Didn't we already go over this? Let's have a read anyway. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about, regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. Like what? It's about how it all started. About that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town. Before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But, I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatami and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There's still more. Continue reading? Sure, why not? When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Oh, that's nice. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before, it's strange. Adachi's well-organized words unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. You're welcome. But let me just say this. Yes? You're a dumbass. Ugh! You take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. Alright, whatever. I doubt I'll ever see you again. But stay healthy. Goodbye. The letter ends there. You obtained Adachi's letter. You feel definite bond between you and Adachi. What? Max out! I'm not reading that. We bestow upon the ability to create Mogatsu Zanagi, the ultimate form of the Hunger Arcana. And plus, we want to screw you over in this one.
Still, though, the things he wrote gnaw at you. Who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm. It's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The Midnight Channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. Hmm. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? Yeah. There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Maybe. Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Keep going, T.A. You're on a roll. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? Yeah, there was that gas tenant, but I'm not gonna know that yet. Power to enter TV, it's where everything about this case started. We learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town, when she told you of the rumor. Adachi and Amitame heard about the Midnight Channel from somebody immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, it feels like something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. Yeah. Wait, there is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? Maybe. And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? Most likely. So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Yeah. Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. I'll do my best. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Yeah. Who could, you, who have, could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to the town was... Dojima. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. And here's where the cutting begins again. I'll be back. Totally forgot about this. This is important. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Yes, thank you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Yes. There's just one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Yes. Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow. That's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Yes, I have. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb 
that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Cool. Looks shiny. Obtain the Orbisite. Hey. I remembered something about myself. Oh? I was born a long, long time ago. I was... the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. I already knew this. But... people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind with no power or memories. That's not true. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? Yes. The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. Thank you, Margaret. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. Alright. It began raining. Oh no! I'm out here- wait. Yeah, I did need something. Nothing really. Wait, isn't this where I... Yeah, no. Do you know a dotty? How do you know that? Uh, oh yeah, we're right. It's been in the papers and such. Yes! Did those two come here? No, it's not. Skipping through this pretty quick, but it's intended. No, I'm not going to leave you alone. Yeah, you asked me to leave you alone, but I don't care. Did you do anything to them? Yes, those two. And what else? Pfft. Yeah, right. I think you did something else. What did you do to me then? Why all these questions? Because I want to know. Yes. There is. Yeah, I already do that. This time, no lag! Hooray! 
You really are troublesome. Not only did you defeat the two Sagiri I snuck into Adachi and Namatame, but you even saved that stunted dwarf of a life. Stunted dwarf? She's better looking than you. I mean, are you talking about Marie? <laughs> it's such a foolish thing. What good is saving her life? A lot of things. She is but rubbish. Suitable only for getting rid of that pointless fog. Lies. Hmm? <laughs> Don't tell me she was still carrying that around. You mean this bamboo comb? Oh, excuse me. I was talking about that bamboo comb you have on you. Right. What about it? <laughs> it seems you don't know who gave her that comb either. That comb is a symbol of the separation we went through. Ah, I remember that Kanji's mother mentioned that you wait, mentioned that when you visited te Tatsumi Textiles with Marie. Yeah, it's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation. How foolish! That comb was a curse, and to think she treasured it all this time. That's because you're a jerk. She must have been desperate for something to cling to. <laughs> There's a limit to how irresponsible you can get. Don't you look down on Marie? Hmm? And what are you going to do about it? Kick your butt four times in a row. The last battle wasn't enough for you? No. You certainly have the powers I was expecting. Why did you choose me then? For your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Heh, <laughs> you thought wrong. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. Why, thank you. Hey, get away what? from me. You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Shaky cam. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. feel an extreme dizziness. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. Damn it. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? Because destiny can be changed. To learn the truth. What will grasping the truth do for you? A lot of things. Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. You, you defeated, defeated the, the two Sagiri and, and the one fragment born from me. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. It shall be not enough. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there.
one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her not name is Tsunami. You can hear your friends' voices in the distance. Hey, are you alright? Who was that you were just talking to? The bad guy. Did she just disappear? Yes. Wait, don't tell me. You told your gallant friends. What happened between you and the gas station attendant? So, it wasn't over after all. No. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Yeah. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. Alright, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. Yeah. You finally discovered the true cause of everything that happened. You must defeat this Zanami again. Who waits for you in that other world? If she really gave birth to Amigo Sigiri. Then as long as Tsunami is left alone, the town will definitely fall into the fog again someday. And if that were to happen, everyone, all those precious to you, would become mere shadows. This is the most important task you have faced, and it must be taken care of before leaving town. You must ensure a complete peace for this town, where you live with everyone. 